Hello, and welcome to the ninth in my series, Proverbially Speaking, Reflections on Verses from the Book of Proverbs. If you're liking this series, or if you like this particular video, please hit the like button at the bottom. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the Northfield Church of Christ YouTube page, where you can find other content besides this. So, uh, first, before I get started, I do want to apologize for earlier videos. I'm getting used to the format and the software, so uh, if I cut off some words, I am deeply apologize for that. So, let me get started with a prayer, and we'll get started with the video. Our Lord and Father, I thank you for your patience and for the grace you bestow upon your children. Bless me now that my thoughts may be pleasing and acceptable to you. It is in your name that I pray. Amen. All right, so let me get on to the verse we're doing today. Uh, today I want to look at Proverbs chapter 29, verse 1. And it reads, A man who hardens his neck after much reproof will suddenly be broken beyond remedy. Disapproval, criticism, objection, blame, rebuke, all these are synonyms for the word reproof. It is hard to be the recipient of some of these things. To us, it may be like a slap in the face. And like a physical slap, when these things hit us, our bodies tend to brace and stiffen for the impact. After a while of receiving these, our bodies can be in a long-term state of tenseness. How many times have you received reproof from someone close, where you get to the point of being hardened towards that person. Even worse, when several others reprove you for your actions, we can become ourselves cynical towards the greater humanity. Our necks become hardened, our bodies stiff. A stiffer item has a greater tendency to break. Are we at that point willing to examine that for which they reproved us? There was a movie called Lucky Number Slevin, wherein a character says the following. The first time someone calls you a horse, you punch him in the nose. The second time someone calls you a horse, you call him a jerk. But the third time someone calls you a horse, well then perhaps it's time to go shopping for a saddle. When we receive any form of correction, it should be our instinct to examine from whence came this reprimand. What is our part in it? Be willing to change. Be more malleable, more flexible. This is most true in our walk with God. Are we receiving correction? Are we willing to bend towards these corrections? Something to think about, perhaps in your prayers to God to help you understand yourself more in your insight. Thank you for watching my video and tune in again next week for another.